In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to fade an object in and out using the transition tool. Uh, this is continuing with the Hello World series that I've been doing on using Corona to develop for the Android, iPhone, or iPad. And this is kind of an introduction to the game development that we'll soon be doing with Corona in this environment. So here we have our project, our Hello World project that we did last time using the button that when we click the button it moves the hello world to various locations on the screen. This time I would like to take this little project and I'm going to make it so that it fades out the hello world and causes it to fade in in a new location. The first step to do this is to use the uh, alpha setting on the text object to cause it to disappear. So in my my button event or my button function, I'm going to just simply say text object dot alpha equals zero. Now alpha can have a value ranging between zero and one. Zero being invisible and one being completely visible, and it can have any decimal value between zero and one for how visible it is at that particular time. So so I've got my alpha set to zero. Now the next step in this will be to cause it to reappear in its new location. So I'm going to use the transition dot two and we're working with the text object and for my array inside of it I'm going to set my time equal to, oh let's go 3000. That'll be over three, three seconds that it will fade in. And then we'll set our alpha to 1. And this will cause it to fade in when it works. So after saving the project, I'll relaunch. And as you can see, it disappears and fades in in a new location. So you can see, using the transition tool and your alpha, it's very quick, easy to make something disappear and reappear in a new location.